Galaxy Girl, she just completed another stint at the office uh, here at the Big E. Tell us, uh, and I know there's probably no question you haven't yet been asked, but how did you start this? It's not like every kid grows up uh, climbing 12 stories. Uh, well, I started, I was a seven generation circus performer, and I always wanted to do trapeze, and played on the trapeze my whole life from a little girl. Uh, married into a stunt show family, divorced, and kept my career going as Galaxy Girl. So that's not Evil Knievel's outfit then, is it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, what do you think about when you're up there? Uh, outside I think of coming about down? many, many things. Um, my guy wires is a big factor in my, my show because I have 36 guy wires that right here. hold this up. Yeah. Yeah. And but they're not, they're, not, uh, they're not taunt. They have some play to them. Yes. Um, I was shocked both, when I saw that. Yeah, they have to have some play to them. Uh, you don't want too much... Uh, stress on the stakes that are in the ground and um, the pole is flexible so it all has to breathe together so usually before my show like a half hour before my show I'm sure I go check all my guy wires okay that's what I was gonna my ask pulley you. blocks yeah I set up all my my equipment yeah so I, I check it all so craziest incident in this uh, business craziest incident I've had a few craziest incident I had a man thought the show was so great that when I came down he was on his hands and knees throwing money at me and I thought that was one of the craziest incidents I've ever been through because he was just so appreciative of what I do. And after you took the money, you called security? No, I had to, I had to <laughs> beg him to take his money back because it was a free show. <laughs> so, so what do you say to kids that might see you and then try this at home? I do announce that sometimes in my show, don't try this kind of stuff at home because I hang by my neck and spin around by my neck and my ankles. And, you know, unless you're trained for this kind of stuff, you can't just go and try to hang by your neck or your ankle. And so a little bit about the traveling part. Uh, do you know what city you're in now? Yes, I do. That's a, unfortunate. I, it's very fortunate that I do know because unfortunately, usually I don't remember because I do travel a lot, probably like nine months a year. So you're doing uh, three or four day stints or generally one night? I or, do a uh, lot of festivals and fairs that are 10 day. 10 days. 10 day events. This is a long one, 17 days for me, so it's very nice. You're here yeah. the whole time. Yeah, do wonderful. you ever get out of out of the fairgrounds and uh, visit the local areas that you're in? I do. I, I, I usually hit the mall. The mall. Of course. Okay. I'm a shopper. Um, but I do try to get out. And, things. Today I was at the airport, my daughter flew in. So, oh, great. You know, okay, things. here's my question. Yes. Uh, in a motorhome uh, versus hotels. I'm a motorhome person. Yes. Why? Um, because I like my coffee in the morning, I like my bed. When I'm done with my shows, I like to be able to sit down and relax, not drive back and forth. And I've traveled my whole life and I've lived in hotels and I was with Ringling Brothers and I've traveled quite a bit. I don't think I'm, I'm home in my house on my couch ever. And I do like to have some security of home, whether it's Some a small place, home, yep. a motor home, at least it's my things and I like that. Great. So if people want to find out more about you, you have a website? Yes, I do. GalaxyGirlEvents.com. And that'll give you your schedule and there's probably some merchandise that people yeah, can pick up? Yes, and there's uh, there's videos of my show and if you go on YouTube, there's tons of videos of the Galaxy Girl show and other stuff that I do. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.